All right, today we are going to talk about our vocabulary for the week. Um, we are on page 316, 317. You will find it on Think Central under vocabulary for hurricanes, earth's mightiest storms. And our very first word for today is whirling. If the conditions are right, whirling winds can form into a hurricane. So when something is whirling, it's spinning rapidly, so really fast in a circle. Number two, rapidly. The hot air balloon rose rapidly or very fast into the air. So there is the word or, and that tells us that we could substitute very fast in for rapidly. Number three, condense. Water droplets will condense on the outside of a cold glass on a hot day. So condense means it's changing from water moisture to a liquid. So it changes from moisture in the air to actual little liquid uh, droplets on this glass. Number four is source. Tiny water droplets are the source for forming clouds. The source for something is what makes, causes, or begins it. So the source is where it comes from, the beginning, where it starts. Number five, rotating. The earth is always rotating. It never stops turning. So rotating means it's going around in a circle. Number six, rage. Winds rage during a hurricane. They never seem to stop. So rage, in this situation, storms, winds, seas, or rivers that rage are ones that move in a strong and violent way. Number seven, experience. Some places experience a lot of damage from hurricanes. So what does experience mean? When people or places experience something, they take part in it or they go through it. Number eight, ancient. The ancient Greeks who lived long ago had storms during summer and fall. So ancient people are people who lived long ago or a long time in the past. Number nine is predict. People try to predict the weather, but often it is hard to know what the weather will do. So to predict something is to say what you think will happen before it happens. Number 10, registered. This anometer recorded wind speeds near a tornado. It registered high winds. So registered means it displayed or recorded um, an instrument on a machine. So like a speedometer um, measures how fast you are going, like your miles per hour when you're driving a car. So it registered on that speedometer as the machine. All right, with your vocab words today, you're going to define these 10 words. Remember, write down the 10 words. Use the glossary on Think Central to find the definitions for your words. And 